stand for the national anthem of Czech Republic. Six minutes till the face of six minutes. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you may be. I want to welcome you to the live coverage of the 2022 World of Crestman's U21 World Championship provided by the LAX Sports Network on laxsn.com, all the way from the University of Limerick at Limerick, Ireland. Today's game between the Czech Republic and Germany is for the 11th place now if you want to go back and take a look at what their last games looked like on one hand you got jamaica against czech, against the czech republic that was yesterday they lost by only one score they were so close from a comeback they scored six unanswered scores in the last 15 minutes i want to say in the last 10 minutes of the game in the fourth quarter yet that wasn't enough enough to route to win against jamaica now on the other hand you have germany against israel this was yesterday as well germany fell down to israel six to eight standout felix michael F michael michael fate was one of the few players that have four scores and an assist for germany but that wasn't enough for germany the players that have stand out am among most uh, in the goal category, we have Winton, we have Bastian Winton with nine goals and two assists for the totality of the tournament, and then we have Felix Michaelfeit with eight scores and two assists to his name. For the Czech Republic, we have one player with ten goals. That is Tomas Notik, ten goals and three assists. He is the only player with double figure scores here in this tournament so you might want to keep an eye on him that is number 21 thomas nautic and as said before this beautiful event that ends today had a record 23 teams that competed in the championship and it was the largest ever age group world ever age group by world championship stage by world across Originally U19 World World Lacrosse the world the originally a, a U19 World Championship the World Lacrosse approved a change in upper age eligibility racing the event to U20 due to COVID there was a postponement thus racing the age to U21 on a one-time basis. Lacrosse has gathered and garnered so much attention and so much traction in the last couple years that it has obtained recognition by the International Olympic Committee back in June 2022. It is targeted Olympic inclusion for the LA Games of 2028. The LAX Sports Network is, is proud to bring you over 60 games from these world championships. For a complete schedule of our games each day, follow us on social media at LAX Sports Network. And today, as the final final day, I want to invite you at 7.15 on the LSN Network to go into the game of England against Japan. That will be called by Tom Eschen on, the, on LSN. Also, at 10.15... 
Puerto Rico against Ireland for seventh place. Also on that on LSN, it will be called by Tom Eschen. So I do encourage you to stay here on with us for the last day and hop on to those two games that will be called by Tom Eschen on LSN. England against Japan for the fifth place and Puerto Rico against Ireland for the seventh place at 10.15. And we are set to begin the face of number three, Rufus Fischer against Jean Dobias. And it is Germany who come up first with the first face off of the game. Germany having a big, big supporting side here by the fans. First offensive possession for Germany. It's gonna stay Czech Rep on the side of the Czech Republic, but it will be Germany ultimately who will continue on possession. First minute has already gone by for this game. First quarter. That is number 22, Los Valquarzin. Then to number one, Anton Weiss. Back to Valquarzi. A little bit of a hot potato pass there. Number 29, Luis Stetska. There's Luis Stetska. Gonna try to take it for his shot. He's gonna go the other way now. First shot not on target of the game. Now Czech Republic. Taking control of their first offensive possession. You see the high pressure from Germany. Trying to make the team worse, work as most as work the most to get to the other side of the field. That was number 27, Matus Filsler. At the bottom of your screen, number 24 checking in, Babel Zrich. 26, Votic, Vosmir, Votic. Number 15 on the ball, gonna take a shot in the first score of the game. First shot on target, first shot, first goal for the Czech Republic. That was Jan Novotny. Couldn't really tell apart who was the one dishing the assist there. I think that was number 21, Thomas Notik, one of the few players I was talking about before. He's had the most goal involvement for his country, and that just shows you why. Early into the game, first core, 
It's gotta go through Thomas Noke before it can be knocked in by Jan Novotny. That was number 12, Andres Strieblik for Czech Republic winning the second face-off of the game and first one for the Czech Republic. Again, that high pressure from Germany doesn't allow the Czech Republic side to feel comfortable here in these transitions. You see, as I said, they're trying to put this high pressure so they make them work all the way through to get to the other side of the field. By then, they'll be a bit more tired. Jan Polak, the one in control of this possession for now. That is number three, Jan Dobias. Tobias is gonna dish it to number 31, Simon Cusera. Then number 33. Gonna take a quick step trying to go work around and find an angle. Pass sails over the intended receiver, but nonetheless is retrieved by the Czech Republic still. Ball. Circling through number seven, Martin Peck, and number five, Lucas Cusera. Now, number two, Jan Fieser. Five minutes have gone by in this first quarter. First save of the game for the Germany goalkeeper, number 31. Trying to save that ball, but it's gonna go the other way now. That was a good shot and an even better reaction by the Germany goalkeeper. Germany now in transition. You see the players at the bottom of your skiing getting substituted. Number 18 in control of this possession. That is Ferdinand Rode. Ferdinand still on the ball. Ten minutes remain in this first quarter. Number seven, Colin Herman. Gonna try to find an angle, retrieves, no good. Number 29, Luis Stetska. Trying to have this ball just circle around everyone. And a shot, not on target, missed. One of those one step slashes. Will, Germany will retain possession here. A lot of wind in this game early here in Limerick, Ireland. And a great pass, even better reaction. Number eight, Felix Michael Fate. One of the players that I had said, interesting to look at them. They are the ones that have contributed the most to their nation here in this tournament. Accordingly, that is Felix Michael Felt. And remember, Thomas Notek for the Czech Republic, number 21. Well, with this score, Matt Felix ties up the game at one, sc one score apiece. We're going to go into the face-off right now. And again, it is number three and number 12, Jan Dobias and Tim Henso. Germany's possession. Niels Kepler. Anton West. Still looking for the open space. Trying to find an angle here. But no luck. And a score by number 25. Number 23, sorry. That is Beno Wendel. And the Czech Republic... Defense kind of fell asleep. You got one man behind your goalie. You want to be facing him. That was number four who just didn't have him under his radar. Didn't pick him up on that right side. Give him enough of an angle to take the shot. And it was an easy score. I am sure that Vladimir Manda must not be happy 
with what he's seen for his defense. This time, Andres Triblik for Czech Republic. And number 10, Marius Boots. Germany again dominate the faceoff. That is number 7, Colin Herman. Out on the ball. Seven, seven minutes to go in this first quarter. Germany leading two to one here. Want to make sure that you pick up the man who's coming at an angle right here so you don't give him an easy shot on target. And that's exactly what is going on right here. Although players cutting, no luck. And it seems like it just went through. That ball couldn't be picked up by anyone. Missed the goal wide. Czech Republic are now going to take their time to bring this ball up. That is number 17, Tobias Pietrak. Still going strong. The physicality from the German front line. And that's a flag. It looked a, like a hold to me. And that was not number 17, excuse me, number 12. Andres Strieblik. Nine minutes have gone by already in this first quarter, and you see there, it was a bit of a hold by number eight. Felix Michael Fate, 50 second penalty for Germany. Czech Republic trying to give Germany a taste of their own medicine, moving the ball around. Gonna find an open shot. But it is ultimately saved by number two, Dan Fieser. We gotta go the other way. And it is Czech Republic with a good stick check and a high pressure that doesn't let Germany roam through. And a score by number two for Czech Republic, Jan Fieser. He's gonna tie this game up at two apiece that was some great anticipation by number 21 Thomas Nautic to find number two on the way to to the goal after Germany had turned over possession a little bit under five minutes to go here in this first quarter no timeouts called, very fast paced game. No stops really, either. Germany in possession, wanna back this one up and start it from the very beginning. They are in no rush. Remember, this is the game for the 11th place between Germany and the Czech Republic. Germany already passing through midfield still going strong no shot yet stick check but czech republic ultimate ultimately comes up with it and a great anticipation by the german side they're able to intercept a pass that was intended for the goalkeeper want to take control of this one number 29 luis stetska stetska finds One of his teammates on the far side, number 23, Benno Wendel. And again, again, the Czech Republic defense pushing out and doing a better job at staying in front of the German offensive players. Enough to make him cause a turnover with a little bit over 12-20 12, 12, that have gone by in this first quarter. Game tied up at two apiece. And that high pressure that once intercepted continues to do so for Germany. Quick reactions from their players and that high pressure is definitely going to be something that 
head coach Vladimir Manda will talk over with the, the players from the Czech Republic. A little bit under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Germany goalkeeper gonna run the length of the field. Nobody has stopped him. This is a pass to the far side players. And it's gonna run out another unforced turnover by Germany. Timeout by Germany with 143 remaining in this first quarter. Remember, the game is tied up at two apiece. And we'll be right back. We resume play here with a score. And that was just a replay, folks. We were going to resume play here in the first quarter with 1.45 to go here. It is Germany against the Czech Republic for the 21st spot, for the 11th spot in this year's tournament. Tied at two apiece. Jan Novotny, Felix Michaelfeld, Lars Volkwartsen, and Jan Fisner are the ones in the score sheet for today for Germany and the Czech Republic, respectively. Another unforced turnover. Germany will keep control of this possession. They're going to take over here on the other opposition's half. Couple substitutions going on right now. Tom number 29, Luis Stwetska, always going through the middle of the field. Play really goes through him all the time. And Anton West trying to f maybe take an angle in a shot, but decides not to ultimately. One minute remaining, one minute. One minute remaining here in this first half, in this first quarter, pardon me. Number 17 and number 1, Anton Weiss and Niels Kepler helping each other out to corral possession. Germany's gonna want to move with a little bit more intention. And it is saved by the Czech Republic. First shot for Anton Weiss. It is saved. Czech Republic moving with a lot more urgency, trying to score before the end of the first quarter, and it is saved. Another great save by number two, but he ricochets off, and number twenty or number two, sorry, for the Czech Republic gets the bounds and takes the easy score. That is Jan Dobias. And not Jan Dobias, number 21, Thomas Notek was the one to score. Czech Republic takes a surprising lead here with a few seconds to go in this first quarter. And what seemed to have been dominated by the German side, it is now the team that has most that has moved with the most urgency throughout this first quarter that is leading. Czech Republic still on the ball. Another great save by number two. That is Len Oswald. And that will be the end of this first quarter. I do 
want to remind you that that's the end of the first quarter with a score of 3-2. to two. Czech Republic leads Germany in the game for the 11th place. You are watching the 2022 World Across Men's U21 World Championships live from the University of Limerick at Limerick, Ireland on Laxisen.com. We'll be right back for the second quarter. Welcome back, and we are ready to undergo the second quarter. 7.24 a.m. Eastern time for us. And it should be, if I'm not mistaken, 12.24 European time, or Irish time, if I may say. Czech Republic, the ones, the latest scorers will go on to have another offensive possession. And a timeout call by Czech Republic as they want to talk things over. We'll be right back. And we resume play. Czech Republic still going here with an offensive possession. Head coach Vladimir Manda called a strange timeout very shortly after the end of the first quarter. He must have seen something that made him very upset or very unhappy because he wanted to talk things over after they had just shortly done so. Things getting a bit chippy and physical here between both nations. Pretty much a tight game 
Not a tight game, sorry. 3-2. to two. But a very close game nonetheless. No team drawing away with this one early. Seems like we'll have a thriller throughout the entire four quarters of this game. And a score by number 21 again. Assisted by number two, ja Jan Fischer. Assisted Thomas Notek here. That, sh that is Notek's first score of the game. And he's already got, sorry, his second goal of the game. And his, he's already got an assist to accompany that. So back to back goals for number 21, Thomas Notic. And face off again. Germany has sent a new player, number 80. That is Adrian Apple. And a missed shot here by the Czech Republic. Fairly close to Germany's goal. Gonna try to find a shot. Czech Republic moving the ball on the far on the far side of the field. But Germany doing a great job of staying in front of their di in front of the Czech Republic players, a little bit of a spin roulette, but loses the ball and Germany comes up with it, running midfield towards the other side, still going strong by himself. Apologize, I'm experiencing some technical difficulties with my computer here. That is Germany number one, then number 22 takes a shot, saved by the Czech Republic goalkeeper. Great reaction there. And again, Germany creates a turnover and comes in the other way. That is number 21, passing it to number 19. Or number 18, Ferdinand Road. Now number 12, Team Henso. Then to number 28, Benjamin Grimm. Benjamin Grimm, Luis Stetska takes a shot. Flies by, wide of the goal. Anton Was back. Germany trying to work the ball around. A little skip pass, almost controlled. And it will stay on this side of the field. Germany's ball on Czech Republic's field. And Germany again gonna take a shot. But it is saved. And you think he's going to regret that one for a little bit. Felix Michael feet had the goal right in front of him. Was not followed by anyone. One of the easier shots he'll have this morning. Or really this afternoon. Czech Republic on the ball now. Couple substitutions going on at the bottom of your screen. 
Number two, Jan Fieser. Going strong with the ball. Number seven, Martin Peck opening up to receive the ball. Number 72, Jan Hules. Cutting towards goal, trying to open up the space for somebody else to drop by. And again, is that German tight defense. That is number two, Jan Fischer again on the ball. The little skip pass that cannot be controlled or was not controlled by number 19, Victor Bla. Germany now coming the other way. That was number 29, Luis Stetska. And another shot, but saved. Saved and we'll go the other way. Number 18, Ferdinand Ro That is, excuse me, that is Tom Jakim Suk, Czech Republic. Who forced another turnover and are still in possession. Again, number 18, Tom Jakim Suk. Now number 24, Pavel Shurich. Number 29, 28, Adam Kusera. Trying to take a look at this one, but no angles there to be found for the Czech Republic players to take a shot and a save. My number two for Germany, Len Oswald. Crucial save here against number 21, Thomas Notek, the man with a hot hand for now. Don't want to give up another score and have him draw away here in the second quarter. Germany now here in possession. Trying to transition this offense into something and materialize this into a score. Germany being patient with the possession. Trying to set a screen, but that didn't work. And a shot on goal for what seems to be number four, Jakub Adamiek for Germany. A long score on that one and an assist. My number four, my number five, sorry, teams. Lucas Cucera. Germany drawing in closer towards the Czech Republic. Four to three here in the second quarter. Number 77 for Germany, Leon Baum. Against number 12, Andres Strieblik. Strieblik comes up with a ball. This is it to number 72, James Hughes. Jan, sorry, Jan Hughes. Who's waiting for his teammates to show up so he can dish the pass and ease the pressure. Crazy pass there and it's going to be another turnover for the Czech Republic. Germany is going to go the other way. Leon Oswald A little bit under six minutes to go here in the second quarter Number 18 Ferdinand Rod in control of this possession, scanning the field. And a great anticipation there by Czech Republic, and seems like he was tripped. We will continue. 
with this trans with this transition and if they do find the open man it's gonna be an easy score and they do number 32 to number 21 that is Thomas Nottig again with the score this time the one assisting Simon Kusera That is Nautic's third score of the day. Well, beat Germany's ball. We're going to go the other way now. A little bit under four minutes to go. Germany drawing in, closing closer. And a score by number 22. Great reach there. And number 22 for Germany. That is Las Volkwarten, who initially had another number. That might have been the confusion there. That's all right. Five to four now. Just the slimmest of, of margins between these two teams for the 11th and 12th place, respectively. Couldn't crap the crap crap the top 10 this year, either nation. However, they will be happy to end on a good note this run of over all of August almost, or I want to say half of it at least, that has had. All these athletes from all over the world at Limerick, Ireland. Number 28, Adam Cusera. Jogging, scanning his options. Gonna take the shot. It's gonna sail right over. The Czech Republic's goal after it bounced off of one of the posts or it, or the goalie stick. I wasn't able to tell really from that replay. That is number one, Anton Wes. Gonna take a slash. No, not yet. Still very patient. No need to rush things up. And getting picked up by a couple defenders over on the weak side. One minute remaining in this first half. It'll be Czech Republic who will go the other way now with a one goal lead over Germany. Seems like they will just retain possession for now. And will not give Germany a chance to be or to have an opportunity to score against them. That marks the end of the first half for today's game for the 11th place. That is the end of the first half, second quarter with a score of 5-4 to four for the Czech Republic. You are watching the 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U20 World War Championship live from the University of Limerick at Limerick, Ireland on laxasand.com. We'll be right back.
And that is 20 seconds remaining on this game. It was a timeout call. That was not the end of the second half. I want to apologize for the confusion. It is Czech Republic who are still trying to do what they just did in the first quarter. End up on a high note and with a score. But this time, Germany has other plans for it. And that does mark the end of that second quarter with a score of 5-4 to four, as said. Czech Republic still on top by the smallest of margin against a very good and strong German side. You are watching the 2022 World of Cross Men's U21 World Championship live from the University of Limerick at Limerick, Ireland on Laxascent.com. We'll be right back after this commercial break for the half.
And we are ready to go for this third quarter. Oh, a lot of fans making the, themselves heard here. You see the frustration in the players wearing the back jerseys. You don't want to start the second half that way, especially not when you won the face off in half the session. Real unforced turnover. And it is Germany staying on this side of the field now, waiting for a couple substitutions. Anton Wes. Got the ball for Moritz Kampnil. It's a bit choppy. We're gonna go the other way, another unforced turnover here by Czech Republic. And I believe that will be a trip by number one. He was penalized indeed. Czech Republic here. Ball sails right through. Germany corral it. And if they're quick on transition, good things can happen for them. Felix Michaelfeld. Now number 28. Benjamin Grimm Benjamin isolated gonna get picked up by two defenders now he gets out of there in a rush finds the open man Felix but it is saved by the Czech Republic still the slimmest of margins between these two nations one goal only and a great save by the Czech Republic goalkeeper hard pass there be able to corral it here again things getting a bit more physical now Germany recoups possession again and are gonna try their best not to turn it over try to at least finish the play on the shot number 23 Vino Wendell going up Germany here in possession. Always so near, but yet so far from that tech, from that fifth goal. Trying to break that tight lock defense. Last time around, Germany had scored. That was right before the end of the fir of the first half. Twenty three minutes. 22 seconds haven't haven't gotten close to another one except for that shot from Felix I was saved here again another save down for the possession after that foul called 
third quarter, ten minutes. Five minutes left in this fourth quarter. Kind of a low shot by number 72 from the Czech Republic. No good. Still going to stay on this side of the field. Getting swarmed by black jerseys. Loses possession. That was number 24. Pavel. Sric. Germany now in transition. That's what they really need. More transition offense. So they don't allow completely for the Czech Republic to set up their defense that has been so so good always keeping the players right in front of them they've picked up after slacking for a bit after missing some couple coverages and really the key to it another save has been essentially their goalie he's been exceptional here in this second in this third quarter no, e either teams yet to score however Germany has come closer in a couple of locations with a couple of shots on target but it is the Czech Republic's goalkeeper that has been able to keep their team at bay and for the Czech Republic that is Joseph Slavik goalie and a score here by the Czech Republic making it six to four let's take a quick look at that replay number 72 out the pass quick turn gonna square your shoulders right at the goal and a low shot that was number four Maritz camp goal for the Czech Republic. Sorry, not that was Jakub Adamiek for the Czech Republic. Again, the Czech Republic comes out on top with another face off win. Still got no answer for number 12, Andre Schwieblik. Germany have struggled in that area, particular area of the game during this third quarter the Czech Republic in no rush to do anything they are two scores up and they are feeling confident about themselves knowing very well that on defense they are glued and everyone is acting together as a unit no space is open for the men in black jerseys and another shot on target for Czech Republic but it is saved that was a close one very very close to the goalkeeper great reaction and that is a first score of the third quarter for Germany with a quick transition and that's what they needed number 22 That was number 21, Thomas Not Notik. And the man that scored for Germany, that was Lars Voldgwarsen in an assist by Felix Kins. German players do not agree with the referee with a holding call. Nonetheless, it will still go that way. score in your screen is incorrect Germany as has got five scores for themselves now and they have fixed it and we're gonna go the other way five 
six to five with five minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Germany. Circling the ball around. And you see that initial formation, that 2-1-2-1. Two, one, two, one. On the defensive side. By the Czech Republic. That line of two can turn into a line of three quickly, depending on where Germany try to push the ball. Initially, that middle defender, the man at the heart of the defense, is going to push up into the side to help out just like he's doing right now in this case. So they're doing a better job now here, picking up and helping out for a second time one of their players. And you see the edges are no good without any picks or without anything else. Because they are working together like one unit on defense. And it's harder for that German offense to try and find the open space. Three minutes remaining here in this third quarter. One score difference. And still trying down that same road. And things getting a bit chippy in there between number 15 and number number 19 for the Czech Republic. That is Victor Blach, the number 15, Mukhnul Mia for Germany. Czech Republic will be assessed a penalty. Germany on this side of the ball is still on the enemy territory. Trying to cut that lead and tie it, really. Gonna take a shot and it rips right through. Number one, Anton Weiss. Great shot. Gets a low angle initially and tries to just rip it up through. We're going to be all tied at six apiece. That will be a timeout called by the Czech Republic. They want to talk things over. We'll be right back after this big...
Germany will be two players up after the Czech Republic is given their penalty for 39 seconds at least two minutes remaining in this third quarter tied up at six between the Czech Republic and Germany for the 11th and 12th place, res 12th place respectively in this year's tournament and we see a little bit more a couple more cracks on this defense as Germany have found a way to push the ball up and rotate it through in order to find the open spaces and the angles in order to take the shots they've started by taking longer shots like the one we saw before by number one Anton Weiss that ended up in a goal but you still want to push and give yourself the best look possible that is why they can't settle always for those type of shots A minute remaining in this quarter. Great pass. And a score by the Czech Republic with under a minute to go. Number 31 was asking for that ball since he went onto the field. He knew he was going to be by himself. Simon Kuzera on the score. Just like in that second quarter to close it out they scored again and now they do so as well here in the third quarter where things were tied up six to six that was Tobias Petrak with the assist and an incredible long pass as well I may add And whistles blew before the shot could go off. And again, Czech Republic leads by the smallest of margins, 76, closing out this third quarter. You're watching the 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U21 World Championship live from the University of Limerick at Limerick, Ireland on laxasend.com. Remember, this is the game for the 11th and 12th place of this year's championship it is the Czech Republic leading Germany 7 to 6 at the end of the third we'll be right back
And we are ready for this fourth quarter. Czech Republic takes control of the first possession. We have changed sides again. Going from right to left on those white jerseys is the Czech Republic. And on those black jerseys from left to right is Germany. Little bit of a careless pass and the anticipation by the German player leads them to a transition offense. And if they find the open pass, they couldn't corral it. They couldn't make the, the sequence of passes quick enough in order to find the open man. Now they're running the other way. Czech Republic turning on the Jets. Still going by himself, still going strong. Decides to retreat back a little bit. Wait for a couple substitutions to come in. Number 31, Simon Kukera. Czech Republic is still in the perimeter. Trying to find the open space. Number 21's looking to set a pick there. Thirteen minutes remaining in this game. Again, the Czech Republic trying to find an angle, but it is too crowded next to the goalkeeper. And a save by the German goalkeeper. First one of the quarter. You always want to end the possession either in a shot or a goal, of course, if you can. But finalize the plays. Make sure that you're getting your shots on goal or your shots at least. Those possessions that don't end up in anything more than in turnovers and giving up the ball are the ones that have have helped the Czech Republic come on top as Germany has struggled at some point but not now with that score slashing rocket goes right through the Czech Republic defense and we're all tied up at seven with under 12 minutes to go in this fourth quarter face of there not either either team not trying to give an inch here Germany come out on top and they'll have this offensive possession that is number seven Colin Herman trying to run this one quicker that's what I was saying about those careless passes and those possessions that end up in empty trips. You can't just have that here in the fourth quarter. Number one, Anton West, one of the scorers early in the game. And a good pass. Good sequence of passes there by number 26, 23, and 4. Germany now putting up the pressure in the Czech Republic. They've had no answer for them in the fourth quarter. Two unanswered scores already by Germany here in the fourth. Number 22 with that quick shot. Lars Volkwartsen. It's 
going to go Germany's way as number three will get called for a foul. Ten. Germany again. Now that they're on top, they want to have a little bit more patience here on the offensive side. They want to get and get. They want to try and get the best look possible. But at the same time, try to move with a bit of urgency. Almost turned over there. They're able to corral it. And again, one of those careless passes that's going to give possession and way for the Czech Republic to begin their offense. A little bit under 10 minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. And again, whistles blown. Germany will now go the other way. And a score! You could see the frustration from the Czech Republic players and Germany celebrating with all its bench. Number 77 with an with an impressive rip, Leon Baum. It looked like the players were unaware that, some, that the play was happening. One of the defenders had his hand by his hips and definitely see the frustration by number 9 there, the goalkeeper for Czech Republic. Josef Slavik asking them to be more aware and that is a timeout called we'll be right back Here we go in this fourth quarter. Again, Germany come out on top, gonna transition quickly into offense. Stick check there. And unaware of it, Germany lose possession. Intensity picking up in this fourth quarter, of course. Either team not wanting to give an inch to opposition. And what almost seemed to be like another turnover by the Czech Republic turns into a quicker transition into offense and a score. Great assist by number five to number two with a little behind the back rassle dazzle as I like to call it. That was Lucas Kukera. A little bit 
about seven minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Assist given by Vosmik Vjotic and scored by Jan Fisser, not number five, excuse me. Pardon the confusion there. Germany leading only by one score now. They're going to transition quickly into offense as they win this face-off. And they're going to try to do as much as they can to just drain a little bit of the clock and find for themselves the best opportunity available to score. We'll see if they have one of those planned plays. It seems to me like they've got something set up in there. They've set up a pick here in the middle at the heart of the defense. And a save by number nine. Incredible save to hold on Germany there. And we'll go the other way with the Czech Republic. Joseph Slavic doing a great job and... That was his best impression of cat-like reflexes. And again, the high pressure by Germany. And another score by number 21 for the Czech Republic. The big man, Thomas Notek. Ties it all up at nine. And we got ourselves a game here in the fourth quarter with five minutes to go. Czech Republic scoring two goals in the last three minutes. And Jan Fisser also a part of this one, dishing out the assist this time not on the scoring stat sheet. Tied at nine apiece. Germany gonna take control of this ball right after the face off. Anton Vaz skipping pass takes a shot saved by the goalkeeper but ricocheted off it will stay Germany's possession here we go still another shot it's gonna say a rally past, but number 22 right there for Germany, Luz Van Quartzen on the back, ready to corral it and continue on this possession for Germany. Gonna take a closer look, but it is again saved by number nine. Those two last saves have been crucial for Joseph Slavic and the Czech Republic. Otherwise the score would be 11 to nine. Germany letting a couple of opportunities slip through. Once you're that close to the goal, you, you got to materialize. You got to make that a conversion for goal. And again, the Czech Republic, a good save in response by the German defense and the German goalkeeper. Quickly transitioning into offense now, which is what they want to do to find the open spaces. Going to take their gas off the pedal for now. Number seven, Martin. That is Colin Hansen, currently in possession. Dishing it to number 28, Benjamin Grimm. Two minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Crunch time has begun officially. Seems like whoever, whichever team will get to score in these last couple minutes will bag this 11th win. This 11th place win. 
And a score by Germany, number 22. Los Volkwarzen. That was a beautiful assist by number 17, Niels Kepler. Who made everyone think he was going to try to back up and go the other way. Or maybe take the shot himself. But no, he dishes the pass. And it is 10 to 9 for Germany. A minute 40 to go. We're going to see if that's going to be enough for the Czech Republic to tie it all up. And try to go into either extra time or sudden death. Czech Republic. Don't want to waste too much time around. Still being patient, but you don't want to be too patient. Gonna take a long shot, and it is saved. It will stay on Germany's side, however, it will be the Czech Republic again staying here. Trying to score the last one of the game to tie it up. Number 26. Closely guarded. No room to breathe for him. Or any of the white the players in the white jerseys for that matter and again another low shot that sails wide of the goal Len Oswald trying to do his best forty seconds remaining And that was a big mistake by number two, Len Oswald. Left the goal wide open for the Czech Republic to tie it all up. Players having a bit of words for the referees. That was the easiest score of the day for number 31 for the Czech Republic. That is Simon Kukera was going to be the hero for them to tie it all up here in the fourth quarter. With only 11 seconds remaining, Simon Kukera was the one to tie everything here at 10 apiece. Still trying to talk things over here are the referees. Before giving way to another face off. Having a couple words here with a German coach, Peter DeSantis. Obviously not happy about the outcome of those, those last possession of that last possession. We can't tell exactly what is being discussed there on screen, but I can assure you that it's Peter DeSantis saying how unhappy and how he does not agree with the call that gave the Czech Republic that ball and had Len Oswald out of his goal and left it wide open for them to open up the tie.
Hold it'll be Germany's ball. And that is the end of this fourth quarter. We will have extra time, I believe, or sudden death. Either one, do not go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. That is the end of the fourth quarter with a score of 10 to 10 for the Germany and the Czech Republic for the fight here for 11th place. You're watching the 2022 World Across Men's U21 World Championship live from the University of Limerick at Limerick, Ireland on laxsend.com. Don't go anywhere, folks. There'll be sudden death rules with four minutes to play in another extra quarter or extra time if you'd like. Sudden death rules will apply. Do not go anywhere, folks. You did not want to miss this. Here we are, extra time, sudden death. Time to make it or shake it. Time to be a hero. Time to lift up your nation. Here we are, ready for a thrilling couple minutes in overtime. Not extra time, I'm sorry. Used to soccer terminology, that's all. Czech Republic gonna take the first shot? No. Got us all waiting at the top of her feet. I'm here standing, screaming at my screen, no, not knowing what's about to happen. Gonna take a shot. And it is saved. Germany will try to go the other way. No. It is Czech Republic who is still in possession. Number 31, the latest scorer. Ball runs out. Still Czech Republic in possession. Gotta catch a breath right here. Gonna go again and another shot. And that is the score for the Czech Republic. That is all for us, folks. Lift up your nation. That is the Czech Republic with an absolute stunner to end this overtime. And a score ends the game, has them in the 11th place for this world championship. And yes, sir, go celebrated. That was an amazing end to a beautiful game between Germany and the Czech Republic. Take a look closer and look at that replay. Number 24 gonna drive by and just take that shot. Pavel Schrich, the man of the moment, the hero of Czech Republic. And a special, special ending here to our coverage of this game. Thank you for watching the LAC Sports Network coverage of the 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U21 World Championship. Our final score 
was 11 to 10 in an overtime thriller that saw the Czech Republic take the 11th place here at the World Championship. The Lack Sports Network is proud to bring you over 60 games from the World Championship. For a complete schedule of games each day, follow us on social media at Lack Sports Network. And do not go anywhere, folks. Jump into that England Japan game that's going on right now for the fifth place on LSN being called by Tom Eschen and later at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Time and 3.15 European Time, Puerto Rico against Ireland for the seventh plate also on LSN, getting called by Tom Eschen. That is all for me, your host, Nico Arciniega, signing off from beautiful side Winter Park, Florida. See you next time.
to present the Heart and Spirit Awards for Team Germany and Team Czech Republic. This award is presented to a person from each team who has been the most influential to the team's program and its success. The recipients are selected for this honor by their own team. Recipients have made an outstanding individual contribution to their peer group, or made an excellent and professional contribution to the event, or made a different difference to someone in the group or the whole group, which is significantly enhanced and their ability to participate in the event. The awards presented by Tom Blacklock, the technical director of sport World Lacrosse. Now we start with Team Germany. This award is being presented by Jakob Albrecht, the general manager of the team. And this being awarded to Daniel Bauer, Team Physio. Daniel is willing in progress since 2014, spending his summer vacation with his wife, who is an assistant manager year per year with the under-21 players. He works early in the morning till the late in the night and focuses individually on the progress of each and every player. He covers his own traveling experiences as well as all equipment he needs for therapy. He is a backbone of the, fo of the program and we are just lucky to call him one of us. Now we continue with Team Czech Republic. This award is being presented by Vladimir Manda. This award and is being awarded to Pavel Doshli. Pavel brings a boundless amount of energy, enthusiasm, and the lacrosse experience from his 20 year still active player career. With his approach to every practice, he is the best example and motivation for under 21 stream and the younger generation of lacrosse players. Congratulations for both of the teams, and finally, take your rest and the beers at night.